Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, as you guys may know, the 6th anniversary is going to be introducing a brand new mechanic to the game called Revival Skills. And up to this point, we didn't really have any information about what these Revival Skills looked like or what they did or anything like that. But today, uh, Cody99% or Cody the Dumbass on Twitter revealed some very interesting details, some very interesting information about these revival skills that I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Okay, so a big shout out to Cody. Thank you so much for, you know, taking the time to share this with us. And uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. So he says, since we've given up on the video for revival skills, here's how they work. So I think originally they were planning to make like a mock-up to show us exactly what they look like, but it was probably too much work or too hard, so instead he just decided to explain it to us in words, which is totally fine with me. Uh, they play an animation titled Battle underscore 170001, so I guess that's the code for the animation. Some of you might recognize this due to an animation Battle underscore 17 or 170000, which is the KO and death slash game over screens. Since it's closely tied to that, it's a variant, so it's a variation on the KO or death screen and that makes a lot of sense to me because I think most of us assumed that given the name revival skills it was something that was triggered upon death upon you know losing all your HP so it is very closely tied to the KO slash uh, death screens we currently have right and from there he goes on to say so it would play on death however before anything shows up there is a character cut in that appears then the animation plays. So, you know how like when Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta do their counters before they actually play the counter animation, they show the uh, character cut in first, right? So it's gonna be the same thing with these revival skills. Um, so it'd be your screen dims before death, then it plays the cut in, and then you revive. Bosses can use and disable revive. Revival skills use a counter to show the build up. Okay, you know what, before I get to that, uh, so basically, what he's saying is that there are probably going to be some events where the boss can use revival skills, which means that you would have to kill them multiple times before you actually win the event, right? So that's going to be pretty interesting, man. I mean, one example I can think of right off the top of my head would be like you're fighting Perfect Cell, you kill him, he explodes, and then comes back as Super Perfect Cell, or you're fighting, you know, Frieza, comes back as Angel Frieza, you're fighting Goku, comes back as Angel Goku, so on and so forth, right? So yeah, bosses can make use of these revival skills, and just like, um, you know, how certain bosses can disable, you know, dodge or disable, like, lowering attack, lowering defense, so on and so forth, uh, certain bosses will also be able to disable your revive. Now from there, he says, revival skills use a counter to show the buildup of the revival. So it's not just as simple as you die and you revive, you have to build up for it. I mean, all this really means is that there are gonna be conditions tied to the revivals, right? So for certain units, you might only be able to get a revive if you take a certain number of hits or a certain number of turns have to have passed or something to that effect. Okay, so revivals are not automatic. You do have to fulfill some kind of condition. I don't know if there's gonna be like a physical counter or like a physical bar on the screen to show like your progress towards revival, but uh, I guess we'll have to see. Um, also, once a revival skill activates, it can change the entire card art, such as adding a Pycon to a Goku and Vegeta card in front to represent the save or the revival has been used. Okay, so yeah, revival skills can completely change the look of a card. It can basically give your unit a completely new card art. Uh, with this, the entirety of the card can be changed as well as the card underscore BG or background folder for it meaning the arts can be completely changed down to the quote. You can preview the card underscore costume in the scatter of the card on a banner. Okay, so this is also another thing that was revealed a couple months ago that had a lot of people speculating that like maybe they were gonna introduce like card costumes where you can put like a Santa suit on a Goku card or a swimsuit costume on Android 21, Android 18 or something like that. And it doesn't seem to be the case. It looks like these card costumes are actually just the name for like the different art for a card after a revival skill is activated, right? So the card costume, in this case for 
um, you know, a Goku and Vegeta card would be like the addition of the PyCon. I mean, I don't know for sure, but that's my understanding based on what Cody is saying. And uh, he also says, with this, some characters, an example would be a blue evolution Vegeta, could have after receiving 10 attacks, revival can be activated. And the art would change from cracked armor to shirtless. Very interesting. So it could just be minor changes to the art where like, you know, Vegeta loses his armor or Jiren loses his shirt, you know, when he goes full power or same thing with Broly, something like that, right? Um, revival skills act like counters in that it happens during the battle part of the game, not the beginning or at the end. Revivals can be a transformation, but don't have to be. So there could be other effects. It could just be an attack boost. It could be a defense boost or some other effect. It doesn't have to be a transformation. They, however, cannot deal damage, sadly. So it's not going to be an attack. It's not going to be like, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's active skills, where you basically get an additional super, right? The efficacy type has spaces for the animation like counters. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that means, that last part, efficacy type. I mean, I'm assuming he just means that, yeah, it's very similar to counters. It plays during the battle phase, not during like the in-between turns where you're like selecting orbs and stuff like that. And uh, it's just got a lot of similarities to counter animations once again. Okay, so there you go, guys. A lot of new information about how revival skills work. Unfortunately, we don't have like a visual but uh, I don't blame him or anybody else trying because I'm sure it's very difficult. But uh, some big takeaways is that number one, the revival skills are very closely tied to the KO slash death screens, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, number two, they play a cut in for your character before the animation plays. And there are going to be bosses that can both use revival skills and also disable your revival skills. Number three, there's going to be a build up or a counter for your revival skills. Basically, you have to meet some kind of a condition to be able to use the revival skills. You're most likely not gonna be able to, you know, activate it immediately. Let's say, for example, you start an event and you get one shot immediately, you most likely will not have the active skill available to you since you haven't met the conditions, right? And also, once the revival skill activates, it can completely change the look of your card. And I think that's where the card costumes come to play and not only the uh, card art but also potentially the uh, quotes for the character and also maybe the animations. I don't think he says anything here specifically about changing animations but I assume that if it's going to be a kind of like transformation style thing then the animations would be different too, right? Maybe. I'm not sure. And uh, also the revival skills act like counters where they happen during the battle phase not during the, uh, I guess, passive period of the fights. And finally, revival skills can be transformations, don't have to be, but they can't deal damage. So there you go, guys. That is everything new that we learned about these revival skills uh, from Cody. Big shout out to him once again. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about all this information. I mean, the more I hear about the revival skills, the more interested I am. It definitely sounds like something that could have a pretty significant impact on the game, which is what I want, right? Like I want them to introduce mechanics that actually make a difference as opposed to just being slight variations of the same thing. So uh, yeah, all of this sounds really good to me. I'm excited to see exactly what it looks like, what kind of revival skills they'll introduce. Let me know actually in the comments uh, what you guys want to see in terms of different revival skills for different characters. Do you have a specific character in mind or a certain moment in the show that you would want to see represented in one of these um, revival skills, you know? And uh, yeah, guys, that's all I got to say. That is today's video. Once we get more information or an actual animation of some kind, I'll make sure to update you guys. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. Join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.